Hello digital marketers and growth hackers and welcome in today's video we're going to discuss about the new Google Partner program launched by Google in 2020. Now basically if you guys are already a Google Partner or you might have already applied for the Google Partner you can see the new requirements in your MCC account in the Partners program under the under batch status. But if you guys are not part of the Google part, part, uh, program or you haven't heard about it then no issues we're going to discuss everything step by step and let you let you understand why these new requirements are better than the previous ones so starting with the basics let's first understand what are the two things that you need to become part of the google partners uh, google partners program so the first thing that you need is an mcc account so basically an mcc account is a place from where you can manage multiple uh, google ad accounts you can either link other some uh, other person's ad account to yours or you can create your own ad account within the same mcc so which means that you don't have to you know keep on s signing in and signing out from different uh, gmail accounts just to access a google account you can just sign in into your one mcc account and then you can access all your ad accounts from there now in order to uh, create an mcc account if you, have, if you haven't already you just need to visit the link which which you can see, uh, see on the screen and i will also put the put the link in the description and once you reach this link all you have to do is click on create a manager account and it will take you to the sign in option now if you're already signed in, in gmail you will see uh, your email id in front and when you sign in uh, uh, when you will sign in in this gmail account it will it will uh, initiate the process of creating the mcc account remember guys one gmail id can have an mcc account as well as a single ad account so this is something that google introduced last year now that you can have multiple ad accounts within the same email id or you can have mcc account also linked within the same email id if you guys don't understand what i mean let me just quickly uh, show you an example of one of mine so this is my vigyapan tree media account which has uh, which is uh, which which is in ma which has a manager account and an ad account as you can see on your screen so basically this is what i meant by that that, that a one gmail account can have a have an individual ad account linked to it or can have the entire mcc created out of it perfect great so now guys you understand uh, how the mcc creation works we move on to the next step which is basically joining the google partners program now in order to join the google partners program once your mcc is created you have to go to the link uh, as mentioned here which will be also mentioned in the comments and just click on join now now I have already joined the program, so uh, uh, there's no point if I click on it. It, it is just gonna ask me for partner sign up. Uh, uh, let's see. Basically, I think yeah, you need access to your company's Google Ads Manager account. Perfect. So basically, you know, it will directly uh, search for a uh, search for an email ID which has an MCC link to it. But because I'm linked linked to this browser through my personal Gmail, which doesn't have an MCC account, that that is why this error is coming. But if you open, but if you guys have an MCC account linked to the ID that you are signed in here, uh, you will already find, uh, you will already find the, uh, you will already, uh, it will not give you this error basically, uh, I meant. So now that you guys understand how to create a partner's batch account, let's go to, now let's go and see what are the requirements for the new partner's batch program in the year 2020. So let's get started. So this thing, so once you have, you know, signed up for the partners program, you come to the, you come to an MCC account and you will see a new partners program option available in your MCC screen on the left hand side. When you click on it, you will see a screen like this. And then in order to see your batch status, you just have to go click on view details. Now, my agency is not that big and I recently signed up for the program in the year 2020. So. Uh, I don't have a partner batch program and because of this new coronavirus hitting in I am unable to you know meet all the requirements anymore because all my clients ad accounts are on pause right now I think only one is running and uh, because of that I'm unable to meet the performance requirements anymore to be eligible for the partner program but that is okay that is not an issue as you can see that uh, I will be focusing more on the new requirements and on the previous ones so let's now compare the uh, requirements which will which uh, which have been uh, which have been uh, let's compare the old requirements with the new ones so starting with the uh, performance ones so before uh, before this new require uh, before this new performance thingy that Google introduced Google didn't really clarify what a performance really meant in Google Ads so if I read the text here based on the revenue growth and retention of your company's clients and your company's growth in overall revenue and number of advertisers so that doesn't really clarify what does it actually means what sort of performance google is expecting out of it whether if i'm running a lead generation campaign whether google is expecting me to have sufficient number of leads if i'm just getting one two leads is that sufficient for google or i need to get at least 10 leads in order to you know even qualify for this thing 
from a particular ad account. So this was very, very confusing for us. And, you know, it was easy to, you know, achieve the remaining two requirements in the old program, but achieving the performance requirements, it was just on luck. Like randomly, one day you wake up and you see, oh, I just met the performance requirement. And after one week, you wake up and you realize, oh, I just lost the performance requirement once again. So that is that was a really confusing thing. But with the new requirement, uh, it is really clarified that, you know, how you can obtain the performance uh, criteria. So if I read the new text, which is based on account optimization score, found in recommendations, apply recommendations to improve your account performance. Dismissing recommendations will not count towards the account optimization requirement. So if you guys are already into PPC ads or you already been running Google ads, you, you might have observed that Google uh, introduced an optimization score last year, which is basically a percentage out of, uh, out of 100, a score out of 100, which tells you how optimized is your campaigns are. Now, this is a really great thing that Google decided to include in the partners program that, you know, on, on the basis of the uh, optimization score, your performance will be measured. So it becomes much more easier to achieve this performance. As you guys can see that even though my ad accounts are stopped, but I have still achieved this performance. It is, the only reason is that my optimization scores are high. Some are around 70%, some are around 80%. So I think on an average, your optimization score has to be somewhere between 65 to 100 in order to, you know, meet this requirement. And the best part is that even if you only have two ad accounts, it is still going to count towards the performance. You don't have, there's no specific number of ad accounts you need to have in order to achieve this performance thing. It is like even if you have one ad account and, you know, uh, you are, your, your optimization score is pretty good in that, you can still achieve this uh, uh, criteria of performance. Perfect. Let's move on to the next uh, uh, criteria, which is spend. Now, basically, earlier, the Google said that in order to, you know, meet this criteria, you need to spend at least 10,000 US dollars. Uh, during the last 90 days which is okay which is fine you know if you're an agency like uh, if you're an agency which is which deals with medium businesses or large businesses it is easy to uh, you know fulfill this requirement but if you're an agency which deals with only small people like coaches or you know uh, influencers or uh, basically small businesses which doesn't have much budget to spend then you might face a problem but then if you are working with mid or large size agencies uh, not large size, I mean mid or large size companies, then achieving this 10,000 mark was an easy task. But in the new requirement, the Google had decided to, you know, increase the spend to 20,000, which is okay, which is fine. You know, these days, a lot of people are spending money in Google Ads, so it is easy to achieve the $10,000 mark. But now Google has see, might have seen some sort of issue in this. So they said, you know what, we're going to just increase the thing to 20,000 now. We don't want to just give away the badge to every person. We need to also maintain our own quality. and. When you are giving Google partner to someone, that basically means that Google is vouching for you that these guys are good in what they are doing. So Google doesn't want to get their reputation affected. So that's why they have decided, you know, we're going to increase the money spent. That is what my analysis says. If your analysis is different, you guys can put, let me know in the comments. Perfect. Now we come to the third requirement, which is, which is basically the certifications. Now, earlier, you only need, uh, in order to, uh, qualify for this requirement you only had you you need to at, you need to have one user at least who had a google certif certification in in a different uh, different test provided by google on their skill shop so basically google has a skill shop or you know google certification website from where you can get google ad certifications in different uh, niches such as search campaigns display campaigns youtube campaigns or everything uh, i'm sure, and if you guys aren't aware of you can just simply google it google certifications and you will see the ad uh, on the top. Uh, let me see. Google developer certification. Fundamentals of digital marketing. No. Uh, I think they, they have renamed it to Google Skill Shop. Yep, Google Skill Shop. So basically, you guys, you guys have to sign up here with the same uh, email ID, which is linked to your MCC or any other ad account. Uh, in the uh, Sorry, it should be linked to your MCC. Uh, email ID so that you guys can get uh, the Google ad account or, or also you guys can also have another uh, another email ID linked to one of your ad accounts under the MCC so it is okay as long as that ad uh, as long as the owner of that ad account or the ads, uh, or the user of that ad account is under your MCC you, you uh, that will still count towards your Google partner requirement so this was the previous certification but if you come to the latest certification it says your company needs to have at least 50 percent of users eight users with updated Google ad certification in search display video with one user in each, which can be earned in skill shop formerly known as Academy for Ads. Now this is a bit different 
uh, sort of a you know in depth uh, requirement they have given so let's go once again your company needs to have at least 50% of users 80 users with updated google ad certification in search display video with one user in each which can be earned in skill shop formerly known as the academy for ads so basically we need to have 50% of the users which are linked to our ad accounts in uh, in our mcc so it is mentioning eight users in my case might be different in yours because this is dynamic because i have in total 16 users linked to various ad accounts under my mcc and the the, uh, the criteria is saying that out of those 16 15% that is eight, eight users must have at least certifications in the following search display and video and with another uh, additional requirement that with one user in each which means that i cannot skip the search campaign entirely or cannot uh, uh, skip the display campaign search entirely i need to have at least one user in all the three certifications that that has been mentioned in here so basically you guys can earn these things by just uh, giving in the exam in the skill shop and the exams are really easy they are basically case study based and you know just a small hack if i want to say you guys can simply just copy paste the question and paste it on google and you will find the answers like that's how a lot of people in the previous uh, in in the previous program get their google partner badge because it was easy to meet the other to uh, meet the spent requirement but in order to meet the certification requirement i mean no one has that much time to you know sit for 60 minutes to actually give the exam properly so you know everyone wants to you know save time and just copy paste the answer and put it in uh, and put it in the uh, uh, i mean uh, copy paste the answer and just chose uh, copy uh, copy paste the answer and and just pasted it in the freaking uh, test and then that's how they quickly earned all the batches i was one of those guys when you know back 3 or 4 years ago when i wanted to you know uh, try to earn the google partner batch for one of my agencies that i used to work so guys this is these are the new google partner requirements and why do i think these are much better is because they are much more now uh, clarified like basically the performance part like before the performance part was one of those criteria which was really hard to achieve but now they have clarified that it is all about your optimization score and with the optimization score it is easy to optimize because you just have to focus on the recommendations you just need to see which recommendations are relevant to you which are not and just enable approve or disapprove sorry based on that and you will easily achieve 60 to 70% optimization score then again spend spend might be a challenge for some agencies because you know uh 20000 is a huge amount in usd in that to in the last 90 days but if you have huge clients you who are already spending uh, thousands of dollars on a monthly basis i think so this is not going to be that often uh, you know challenge for you guys as well this thing once again it is easy you just have to get the certification which can be easily get these days you just have to copy paste the answer copy paste the question to the google google will give you the answer and then you copy and then you just choose the answer that appears on the google search that's it and then there's fourth one which is specializations which is basically i have no idea what it is right now and they say it will be coming soon so that's it for the partner requirement now if you guys also know that uh, there are two sort of partner badges one is the basic partner badge and the other one is the premium partner badge so google have also clarified the same for the premium badge how are they going to give out the new premium badges to the agencies who are eligible for that or the companies who are eligible for that and the answer for this you can find in the support.google.com where it says how to earn google partner badge now if i go down there so in the beginning it says by the end of june 2020 we will be updating the requirements needed to be considered a partner badge so you guys have till june 2020 to actually meet the new requirements in order to be eligible for the google partner badge or if you guys are already google partner and you haven't you know met the requirements of the new partner program you guys have to do this by the end of june 2020 all right now if i move on to below behind the below you will see there's another note here to be eligible for the premium partner status in 2020 companies will need to first on the new partner batch which is okay completely relevant then the google partners program will then grant premium status to the top 3% of the participating companies each calendar year so basically top 3% and you know google partner is something that almost every majorly almost every marketing agency these days is applying for so just think of those guys man 3% out of all those hundreds uh, hundreds and thousands of agencies that is a i would say kind of very low number but 
since you know google wants to make sure that their their reputation is not affected and i think they have started actively working on google partner program to make sure that you know it meets its standards and it is meets the customer requirements as well so i think they are okay with that but i will still suggest google that you know at least make this percentage to for 5 to 6 percent at least in order to you know get more people a chance to earn the premium partner batch now we select premium gold partner based on number of factors including but not limited to annual ad spend across managed accounts client growth client retention and other information evaluation is done on an annual basis and status may not be available in all markets so this is something you know once again a not lot clarified now this is up to a uh, human interaction on how google is going to manage your client growth and client retention i mean like so for example my clients they are, some of them are seasonal based so they they do not run the campaigns all all over the year they like come to specific months and then run the campaigns suppose it is like if there it is like some sort of uh, summer vacation type going on then they start their campaigns or it is some winter vacation going on they start their campaigns so once again this premium google partner batch is going to be tricky to uh, obtain and you know the best things to do is to just increase your google ad spend and make sure that you know you don't lose more than 5 to 10 clients uh, not not more than 5 clients every annual year i think that is how which i believe is going to make sure that you are you become eligible for the premium partner batch so guys this, this is it for in today's video if you have guys any any questions just drop it uh, just put it down in the comments and i will be happy to answer it uh and if in case you are a client who is looking for marketing services then i run an agency called vigyapantri the link will be in the description as well and you can approach me from there thank you so much for watching and